the need for Nigerian youth to acquire entrepreneurial skills as a way of developing themselves has been stressed. These were the positions of speakers and, the, and participants at a one-day media discourse organized by Beam TV. Liberty News correspondent Godwin Amundi reports. In the fourth quarter of 2020, 38.5% of the labor force aged 15 to 24 years in Nigeria was unemployed, showing an increase compared to the previous quarters. In the same period of time, the total unemployment rate in the country amounted to 17.5%. This figure was projected to increase further in the next years. Faced with this sudden reality, the need for youths to have this conversation on youth participation in politics and to discuss policies that could strengthen entrepreneurship growth in the 21st century becomes imperative. Speakers at this media discourse include politicians, academicians and entrepreneurs who all air their views on youth development. You need to be effective, you need to stand on the ground, you need to be stubborn about your dream. You need to come to the point of realization to understand that you need to take charge of your destiny. If the white collar job is not coming, please roll up your sleeves and then do something. Besides, we cannot talk about any civil servant that is outstandingly rich, outstandingly making impact in the society. If you want to talk about people that have made impact in the society, are business people, people that use their hands to do something. Representative of Smeden acknowledges the challenge of assessing funds made available by government to encourage entrepreneurs. The funds for businesses are there. They're in the space, they're in the market. But like I said, the condition to access those funds are so tough that it makes someone to probably draw back. So we keep saying in Smedan that let's come together, let's scale down the ladder for these people to be able to access this money. There was no point for things like trader money, market money. We don't need all of that. Government budgeting 75 billion for youths, you can't even see it. You only hear about it. If you go to ask for questions, they tell you the conditions that you can't be able to, 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 to pass through. So we are saying that let's governments pump in money to some of these agencies and let them agree to work together and let them also reduce those conditions that allow small businesses to grow. Senator Akon Eyakeni addresses the issue of youth involvement in political violence and tagri. I won't have a child and send my child to go and be a talk. So why must I encourage another person's child to be a talk? If all politicians will have that mindset, I think Nigeria will be at peace. Blessing Ambrose is the convener of this media discourse. She expresses her passion for youth development. If you look at the society, youth make up the greater percentage of the society. But most times they cry as if they are just one fraction of the world, that there's nobody to listen to them. So I, I said I took it upon myself to say that, okay, we can do something. We can, we can call them up together. Debates and panel discussions were held geared towards making an average Nigerian youth a better person. Kadwin Amundi, Liberty News.